More than two years after video surfaced showing mold and exposed wires at Druid Hills High School, DeKalb County parents are demanding accountability and change. The district is making plans to make the needed repairs, but officials say it's going to take time. 11 Live's Ariana Manise joining us live. Ariana, how are parents reacting to this new district update? Well, Cheryl, parents, they learned last night during last night's meeting that any renovations to Druid Hills High School could take at least three years. Now, last night, parents, they got a tour of firsthand accounts of the school's 100 year old infrastructure where they were able to see firsthand what's happening at the school at the third and final meeting to address issues that were first brought to light by students more than two years ago in a viral video. Since then, the school fixed moldy walls, burst pipes and other issues. But the school needs more improvements to be brought up to cold, according to school district officials. The district is looking at three different options, which include renovating the school, updating the school and adding to it or replacing the school altogether. Now, this project is estimated to cost between 100 to 200 million dollars. One parent says whatever option the district decides, the school needs a much needed facelift. Take a listen. It just needs this comprehensive overhaul, facelift, modernization to make it comparable to other schools in DeKalb County. When we go to other schools, they look modern, they look great, they look bright. So if we're not investing now, we're kicking the can further and further down the road. This benefits my kids, but I also want it to benefit, you, you know, kids that are coming 20, 30 years from now too. Now, funding for any renovations or upgrades to Druid Hills High School will come from the county's East Blots or Penny Sales Tax that goes directly to benefiting education related projects. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll have more from the district COO about how they are thinking to move forward and who will have the final say. Reporting live from DeKalb County, I'm Ariana Manis for 11 Alive. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. Ariana mentioned the video. We have a look at that video. The aging high schools perspective this morning on 11alive.com. You'll find all that video in this story on our homepage.